Hello everyone and welcome to CADCAM C tutorials. Here in this video we'll see how to create a fillet that changes its radius from one location to another location along the edge. And you can see the same example over here on the screen. So let's begin it. So let us first close it. And for example I have created a block which is having dimensions of 150 by 100 by 30 mm. And on this long edge of this block, we are going to create a fillet having the different radiuses. So in order to create a fillet, we can select here fillet. And you can see different types of fillets options are available. So first one is the constant size fillet that we usually use in our CAD modeling. And the second option is the variable size fillet that we'll use in this video. So after selecting the type of the fillet that we want to create, the next step is to select the edge where we want to apply this fillet. So in our case it is this edge where we want to apply the different size of fillets. After selecting the edge, the next thing is that we need to know at which location we want to assign the different size of fillets. So that means we have to first identify the locations where the size of fillet will get changed. So here we can see by default it has given two points along with three points in between. So we can click on these points and it will pop up these boxes. So ultimately we are having five points where we can assign the different radius and it will create a variable size fillet along the length of this edge. If we want to increase the number of instances or the number of points where the size of fillet will get changed, here we can increase or decrease the number of instances. So after specifying the number of instances where the size of the fillet will get changed, the next thing is that we have to assign particular location along the length of this edge. So by default there will be having two radiuses, one at the start at zero what at the end at the end of the edge in between we can play we can increase the number of instances and also we can change the location of the point along the length or along the edge so here we can see this 25 percent 50 percent and 75 percent and it denotes the location along the length of this edge so 25 percent is from this point at a distance of 25 percent of the total length. So for example if we will change here from 25 to 10 percent it will change the location of the point and consequently the different radius will be assigned at this location. So I will make it the default 25 percent but you can choose any location along the edge. So once we know the locations along the edge where we want different radiuses now this is the time to assign the radius at these locations. So for example, let we start with 20 mm. So if you want to assign the radius, what you can do is you can select the corresponding point over here and you can assign the radius of the fillet. And the second option is that in this box you can assign the radius at that location. So this is the first point and here we can see unassigned. So if I enter here 20 mm, it will assign the radius of 20 mm at this point. At the second point we want to decrease it to the 5 mm so near to the symbol R it denotes the radius and I want to change it from 20 mm to 5 mm. So here we can see the preview. At the third point we will change it to 2 mm and then we will increase the radius of the fillets again to 5 mm and 20 mm. So here we can clearly see that we have created a variable size fillet that changes the radius let's say from 20 mm to 20 mm but it first decreases and then increases along the length of this edge and then we can just click on ok so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video then please hit on the like button share it and subscribe to this channel CADCAM CE tutorials thanks